So today we're going to do a quick email phishing analysis. So I have an email right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that email. This email is um, it's supposed to be from Credit One Bank. Uh, but as you can see, it's not very well done. It's not a very good spoof. You can actually see these strange characters right here at this domain, which is not Credit One. Uh, if we go down here, we have a link with a um, URL. And as you can see at the bottom of the screen, that is not Credit One as well. I'm going to go ahead and right click on that. I'm going to go ahead and copy the link location, the actual URL. I'm going to open hybrid analysis and I'm going to submit this URL. I'm going to go ahead and paste it in. Hit analyze. It's asking for email address. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. I am not a robot. Consent. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. Going to generate public report. Go ahead and let that analyze. So it comes back and it's not saying it's absolutely malicious. It's getting a threat score of 52 out of 100. Um, it is saying it is suspicious. Let's see, scroll down, see if we see anything else. So just based off this, it's not saying it's malicious, but it's saying it is suspicious. It doesn't trust it. It, it can't determine everything that it's doing, um, but it could be a threat at some point. So um, if we were to make a determination on this uh, URL, it's not a known URL. It's not coming from Credit One Bank. Uh, we would go ahead and have our firewall team uh, go ahead and block this URL. <clears throat> so if we go back to the email, Let's uh, investigate where this email actually came from. So I'm going to go ahead and if I can find it, view message source. So this is where we get our email header information. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and select all of this. I actually have to do it this way because select all selected the whole email. So I'm going to go ahead and just scroll all of this information. Wow, that's taking a while. All right. Okay. Got it. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. And I'm going to go over to MX Tools and use their email header analyzer. Go ahead and paste this information in. Now, usually um, MX2 does a pretty good job of making this really neat and parsing out all of the information. Uh, for some reason with this particular email, it's only parsing out one line of information. So I'm gonna go back to the old school way I still have my um, header copied on my note on my uh, clipboard. So I'm going to go ahead and just do it old school. I'm going to go ahead and go to my uh, notepad. I'm going to paste information. And I'm going to go ahead and scroll to the top. So if we go down line by line, we're basically looking for the sender IP. And right here we have the sender IP. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that IP. And I'm gonna bring up, let's go with our X-Force uh, IBM Cloud. It's an IP analyzer. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in. Okay, it comes back with uh, analysis. Um, the risk is low, has a one, it's green. Uh, that's good. Um, but at the same time, we're not 
given full trust to this based off what we've seen with the URL, the uh, bad spoof. Um, this is coming from Pakistan. Uh, not necessarily saying that's a bad thing, but if that company doesn't do business or they're not located in Pakistan, then we may not trust this IP location. So it is saying it's a low risk right now, but what I would do, this is not a common IP. This is not like global, Google, Microsoft, Yahoo. Uh, if it's not a used IP and it's in a different geo location, I would go ahead and block this IP. Also, I would go ahead and block that URL as well because it was suspicious, not a known URL. And also, let me do this. Let me go back here. I'm going to grab this URL. And I am going to go to urlscan.io. It's a website where you can put the um, URL, suspicious URL in and do an investigation on it. You can kind of see a preview of the page without actually going to the site. Um, now keep in mind, I did just copy this out of the um, hybrid analysis. And hybrid analysis has a um, great technique that they implement where they change the T's to X's. So you cannot detonate the URL, but I actually want this to detonate within this uh, website. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this back to T's. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit public scan. Okay, it's saying that this um, this web page was not found, so it it probably isn't working anymore. Uh, what I'm actually do is just to get a little more information in for training purposes. I'm gonna take the root domain, copy that, and I'm gonna go to who is dot domain tools dot com. I'm gonna paste that in there. Actually, it looks like it got the whole domain, so let me take some of that out. Okay. So I was wanting to see how how old this URL was. Now, when a key sign is when you see a, a URL this has been up a couple of days, um, and it may not be malicious yet, but it's it's pretty. It's about to rev up a campaign. Uh, with this one, it's been over a year, so that's not really a good indicator. I just wanted to kind of. That's just a good step in analyzing to see what's going on with the URL. Was it uh, a new URL that was stood up for that purpose? Uh, it may have been a year ago. Um, as we could see, uh, that URL is not working anymore. So uh, maybe it was an old malicious URL, but right now it's suspicious. Uh, but like I said, what I would do is just some quick tips. I'm gonna go ahead and um, select all. I'll go ahead and just make a couple of notes, quick notes on that URL, suspicious. I would block, I would definitely block that. IP, it's not a known IP. I would go ahead and block that for precaution. I would also, um, if you're working this within an organization, I would also want to see, you would want to see the scope of the email. How many people did that email go to? Did it just go to one person? Did it go to 10 people? Did it go to 100 people or more? or the whole organization, um, the wider the net, the higher the risk. So if, if there's over 10, let's just give that as a threshold. If it's over 10 users, you may want to send out some type of notification, uh, official notification, a template that, you know, kind of commonly states what to do in that case. Do not click the links, do not click uh, attachments. 
uh, do not reply to the person that sent the email and um, get that notification out. Um, but that was a quick email analysis. Thank you.